<laughs> when you got the dragons, all, pretty much it looks like you know Griffin's going to have his magical kingdom, where everything's going to be fine, and the rest of the world is yeah. fucked. Yeah. They're going to have dragons attacking them. They're going to have nightmarish imps, trolls raping their raping their children, taking their land, eating their corn venison. Ripping out <laughs> unicorn horns, taking those magical walking brooms, just snapping them over your knees. I want to see more of those guys with the big nose and the little legs. Whatever the fuck they were, that was kind of funny. Him. Yeah, him. Wave. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, things... They're setting things up to make... And kind of like a little bit more. They're making things up to look like it's going to be really big and awesome, and then they kind of just do the same kind of thing again, where they're fighting quasi-apostles or maybe apostles instead of fixing Costco like we've all been wanting. For how many years now, people? Uh, yeah, see? Look at that. I miss all original Costco. You leave him alone. He's busy playing Idol Master. I mean, she had that man haircut, and she was the opposite of man pretty. But man, Costco was awesome. So was Idol Masters. Leave him alone. That was then. This is now. Now he's got a lot of problems, you know, with radiation, people dying, food shortages. The last thing I did Man, see before he had the last volumes come masters. out, he did do a little comic with Fat Puck showing, like, a don't hoard food, don't waste electricity, donate, and all that. You know, it's nice. Everybody's helping each other out in Japan, like, when all that shit happened. And you don't see too much of that in Berserk. You see more people <laughs> trampling each other, trying to plead to the wrong... Priest and and you've never played Idol Masters, have you? No. <laughs> I think Some taking kind of care of your idol is a little more important than donating food. <laughs> My idol's got to be number one in the Japan pop circuit. They do love their I idols, all right, you're right. more important than donating food to starving people. Anyways, yeah, we're going to stop with him um, working on starving people, dying of radiation poisoning, and go on to people dying in this new world. Isn't it fun just seeing like all the children? They're seeing that. That's one of the things that bothers me too. It's like they show like twice. They've been like children see things before the other people did, the grown ups, and then they don't really dwell on it too much. And it's like, yeah, the kids are seeing this vision. That's great, kids. That's great. We're gonna go to this horrible graphic other scene, and then everybody's gonna be accepting everything as fact. They don't dwell on. Hey, we did finally believe the kids. They were saying the right thing. It's not until the adults start having the dreams too, and they're like, hey, there's something to this. <laughs> Just little things like that, it kind of like filler, I guess we can call it. It kind of like just adds on to a little unnecessary bullshit. I guess it's better. I'd rather, you know, I'd rather see the kids doing that than dying and guts his sword and materializing back into burning children. That that wasn't too good. And then I see my my mom walking down. What are you reading? <laughs> Idol Masters, mom. Don't worry. I'm reading Idol Masters. Oh, uh, does anyone else's mom besides my mom think guts is hot? <laughs> Alright, my family's all about Griffith. <laughs> Same here. Our family will never get along. I'm not going to see my family don't even know who the hell he is. <laughs> Our family's got a picture of Serpico right on the mantle, on the fireplace. Is it just me or the phone of uh, Zod is getting bigger and bigger on chapter of chapter? Yeah, it seems like, like everybody gets a little bit more exaggerated and stuff like that. Like the way the, the, his art style is progressing over the time, and yeah, he's always got those badass angles to make that one horn he's got left count, you know? <laughs> the horn is getting larger. <laughs> he's pretty well, orange. He's working at as his pride and ego goes, mm, yes, he's doing more massages every day at night. But he's the new Gus, though. I mean, you look at like the new band of the Hawk. He is the big brute infantry main guy who goes recklessly into the battle where he's not always supposed to. I mean, the new band of Hawk kind of beats the shit out of the old one. That's for sure. They didn't have apostles and little you know, psychic girls. You know, it's the difference. You can see out of both eyes. That is, that is pretty awesome. <laughs> I would really want to want to see out of either of them after what he had to see when he lost the one. That's too bad, I'd rather be Zod.